Amazing as it may be, the James Webb Telescope is a thing of beauty. Truly, NASA has built the finest observatory in the cosmos. This is due to the fact that the JWST has managed to take some of the greatest, or at least most striking, images of our galaxy to date. Watch the rest of the video to see more of the stunning images of our galaxy. If you want to know everything there is to know about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other space-related updates, then like and subscribe to our channel. To that end, I'd like to officially welcome you to Space News Unfold. You'll want to watch every second of this unprecedented collection of stunning images of distant galaxies. All right, enough chit-chat and on to the action. Number 1. NGC 346 This image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope Near-Infrared Camera NERCAM, shows NGC 346, an active star cluster, amid a 200,000 light-year-old nebula. Webb finds many more building blocks for stars and planets in dust and hydrogen clouds. This image shows two hydrogen plumes and arcs. The pink gas represents energetic hydrogen, which is usually as hot as 10,000 degrees centigrade, about 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, while the orange gas represents dense molecular hydrogen, which is much colder at roughly negative 200 degrees Celsius, nearly negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit, with accompanying dust. Stars form in the cooler gas and alter their surroundings. As these budding stars break down the dense clouds, ridges appear throughout. This stellar erosion causes many luminous gas pillars around the region. Number 2. A Ribbon in Space An extraordinary picture of the planetary nebula known as NGC 5189 was captured by the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope. The complex structure of the star outburst resembles a gigantic and vividly colored ribbon floating through space. Number 3. Cloudscape in Orion The NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope captured the colorful region around Herbig Haro Object HH505. Herbig Haro objects are bright regions around young stars that arise when shockwaves from stellar winds or jets collide with neighboring gas and dust at high speeds. HH505's outflows come from 9 Ori, a star near the Orion Nebula's edge 1,000 light years from Earth. The large-scale flow of gas and dust from the heart of the Orion Nebula distorts the outflows into sinuous arcs at the top and bottom of this image. Number 4. Symphony of Colors The tarantula is visible to the naked eye as a big Milky Way patch in the Large Magellanic Cloud LMC, 170,000 light-years away in the southern sky. Astronomers believe this little irregular galaxy is experiencing a tumultuous period. It orbits the Milky Way and has had close encounters. The Tarantula Nebula is part of an explosive star creation event triggered by the Milky Way. R136 is a massive hot star cluster above the photograph. R136 stars are among the most massive. R136 stars are only 5 million years old. Astronomers study R136 to understand early stellar evolution because its tiniest stars are still developing. The star cluster Hodge 301 is near the image bottom. Hodge 301 is about 10 times older than R136. Hodge 301 has supernovae from ancient stars. This explosion compressed tarantula gas into filaments and sheets around the cluster. Number 5. NGC 2440 NGC 2440, another fading star ejected planetary nebula, is more chaotic than NGC 2346. NGC 2440's core star is about 200,000 degrees Celsius. Some astronomers believe that the intricate structure of the surrounding nebula indicates that the central star has had periodic oppositely directed outflows, similar to NGC 2346. But in NGC 2440, these outflows have been episodic and in different directions. Dust clouds in the nebula generate black streaks away from the center star. NGC 2440 is surrounded by a much larger cloud of cooler gas that can only be seen with infrared telescopes. The bright nebula burns from ultraviolet radiation from the blazing star. 
NGC 2440 is 4,000 light years away in Puppis. Number 6. Close up of M27. This close up picture of the Dumbbell Nebula, taken with the James Webb Space Telescope, shows a flurry of glowing knots of gas that look like they are streaking through space. This is the last hurrah of an old star. The Dumbbell is a nearby planetary nebula that is more than 1,200 light years away. It was made when an old star shed its outer layers in a colorful show of light. The nebula was the first planetary nebula to be found. It is also called Messier 27, M27. In 1764, the French astronomer Charles Messier found it. Number 7. Infant Stars The James Webb Space Telescope is very sharp, so it was able to find a group of newborn stars in the nebula NGC 346. These stars are still forming from gas clouds that are being crushed by gravity. They haven't yet set their hydrogen fuel on fire in order to keep the nuclear fusion going. The mass of the smallest of these newborn stars is only half that of our Sun. Number 8. New Life in Old Cluster This James Webb Space Telescope image shows the Milky Way's oldest globular cluster, Messier 5. The majority of its stars formed more than 12 billion years ago, yet some surprising newcomers inject vitality to this aged population. Globular cluster stars grow up together. The most massive stars run out of fuel in less than a million years and explode in supernovae. The ancient cluster Messier 5 should only have old, low-mass stars, which have aged and cooled into red giants and blue horizontal branch stars. Astronomers have found many young blue stars in this cluster among the older, brighter stars. Astronomers believe that stellar collisions or mass transfers between binary stars form these blue stragglers. In densely populated globular clusters with a few million stars, such events are possible to envision. Number 9. A.G. Carinae in order to capture the magnificence of one of the brightest stars that can be observed in our galaxy, astronomers oriented the observatory in its direction. In order to prevent self-destruction, the enormous star that is depicted in this most recent image from the James Webb Space Telescope is engaged in a game of tug-of-war with gravity and radiation. The star, which goes by the name A.G. Carinae, is encased in a progressively wider disk of gas and dust. The width of the nebula is around 5 light years, which is equivalent to the distance that separates us from Alpha Centauri, the star that is the closest to us. Number 10. NGC 346 Young stars have been found to be spiraling into the center of a huge cluster of stars in the small Magellanic Cloud, which is a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way galaxy. This discovery has left astronomers bewildered. This enormous stellar nursery, known as NGC 346, has a peculiar structure and may be feeding new star formation through a river-like migration of gas and stars. The spiral arm near the galaxy's exterior may be responsible for this activity. According to the findings of the research, this is an effective method for fueling the development of stars. Number 11. Stellar Fireworks Finale from the James Webb Space Telescope's deepest views of the universe, scientists can see signs that the first stars may have appeared as brightly and spectacularly as a fireworks show. Except in this case, the ending came first, long before Earth, the Sun, and the Milky Way galaxy were made. Images of the heavens taken by James Webb lead to a preliminary conclusion that a lot of the stars in the universe were made in a huge firestorm of star birth. This happened just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the huge explosion that started the universe. Even though stars are still being born in galaxies today, the rate of star birth may be much slower than what scientists thought it would be in those early rich times. How intriguing do you find it to look at these crazy pictures taken by the JWST? Which picture caught your attention the most? Tell us what you think in the comments section below. Also, if you liked what you saw, Click like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest news about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA News, and other space updates. See you in our next video.